everyone. So it says we're live, so I'm going to assume that we are live. Hello, hello, everyone. I hope everybody, whoop, things are flying all over the place. I hope everyone is having a wonderful Wednesday. Just had to check my had to check my watch to make sure that it was in fact Wednesday. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone that's joining in. Thank you all so very much for joining in. I appreciate all of you. I'm gonna bring my grid mat in here. Um, you may have noticed I've figured out how to zoom in. So we're live and in living color now. All zoomed in. So uh, today, oh my goodness, we're live at the same time. Dang, Nabbit, that's okay. Tim and I are going to have to get on the same same schedule. So uh, tonight I have two things to share with you. Um, number one, as you can see um, <clears throat> from the title, we have a new swatch guide that I want to talk to you guys about today. And then also um, something that you guys have been asking about for a while. And I wanted to make sure that you guys knew that they were now finally in stock. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys know about this, but when we did the full year of Inspiration Boxes, oh, by the way, Almost all of the inspiration boxes shipped today. Oh, my word. <laughs> the team did, um, I think the team did close to, I think they did close to 800 orders today. So, um, yeah. So, almost all of the inspiration boxes went out today. So, um, if you did, yours didn't ship yet, no big deal. It should uh, hopefully ship tomorrow. Um, but they do go in waves. They do go in waves. So, all right. <clears throat> so first and foremost, if you got the full year inspiration box, which is only offered um, generally once a year, but I believe Heather was signing some other folks up that really, really wanted it. Um, you got the Create Your Own Ending Charm Bracelet um, as, a, as a bonus uh, for signing up for the, um, yes, absolutely, Fatima, uh, while uh, it was it was a free gift that was available while you, uh, if you sign up for the full year. Well, I designed this bracelet especially for um, my one year or full year subscribers, but um, the, uh, I've now um, gotten them in for anyone to order. Now, I will say that um, I don't know how long these are going to last uh, because they uh, we've had quite a few emails uh, that wanted um, wanted to grab this because you can put all your charms on it from the inspiration boxes. Um, and I designed it, obviously, uh, with the signature star because I do have the star uh, tattoo on my wrist. So I just have always had um, a love for stars. But it's just an absolutely, absolutely beautiful, beautiful uh, piece of jewelry. It's eight inches, um, eight inches long. So it's, it's a good size. Uh, but again, um, this is now available for anybody to purchase. I said we would wait at least six months, and um, now here we are at the six-month mark. So, <coughs> excuse me, if you would like to get your very own Create Your Own Ending um, charm bracelet, uh, you can now get one. And I'm going to put this one back in the box because... Um, uh, uh, if somebody orders this one, I want to make sure that it's still uh, pretty in the box. And of course, it comes in uh, this pretty little box, and that is the Create Your Own Ending um, Charm Bracelet. You didn't get a notification, I know, Rose. There's a lot of folks that aren't getting the notifications. It's driving me bananas. It's driving me bananas. Um, it's only $14.99, if you can believe it. It's only $14.99. Um, it probably should be a lot more, but were, you know me, $14.99, <laughs> $14.99, it's going to be for you guys. Um, okay, so with that being said, also, uh, you guys, there's one other swatch guide that you guys have been emailing about. Do you guys know, can you guess what that swatch guide is that you guys were looking for? Can anybody guess what swatch is missing? <laughs> Can anyone guess which one is missing? Not the powders yet. No, nope. I haven't gotten anything for the powders yet. Yes, the sprays, Heather, the sprays. Yes, yes, yes. So 
the sprays are uh, was the second, actually the second. We already have one for the glitter glaze tree. Um, you guys asked for a surface sprays swatch guide. So here it is. So this is the first eight Brutus Monroe surface sprays. And um, they're all on this really cool, really funky looking swatch guide. I'm actually going to grab a second, um, thanks Heather, a second piece here because it could get kind of messy when I start spraying. But basically this is going to have all of your surface spray images. Uh, excuse me, surface spray colors. And it says, of course, surface spray guide down here at the bottom. We've we've um, sized them all so that you are able to actually go ahead and um, put them all in a book. Now, just so you know, oh, I'll do a video soon, Rose. I have a couple of videos on my channel where I use them, but I'll do one live soon. Um, just so you know, just so you guys have a heads up, there is a surface spray bundle. I don't know if you guys are aware of this. It's linked down below. But the surface spray bundle will no longer exist as of September 1st, okay? So it will, um, will you have an orange color released? Yes, Heather. Yes, we will. We have actually eight new colors that are going to be coming soon. Um, but just so you know, the surface sprays, um, this swatching, I would just use um, a piece of, of cardstock, like 110 pound, 100 pound. Um, but just so you know, the bundle just so I can make it loud and clear so you guys um, aren't surprised. The bundle pricing is gone as of September 1st. There's going to be an email that goes out later this month, but September 1st is the end. So the last day of August will be the last day um, that you're able to get it. So let me grab my surface sprays. Oh, hold on one second. <laughs> Hello, Kijo. So let me grab my surface sprays. Did I get them all? Yep, I did. Okay, so now of course. Oh, good, Don. Oh, speaking of which, Don, I'm glad you mentioned the class. So you guys, um, I don't know how many of you are in here that are taking the class. So about 50% of you, about 50% of you sent an email to info at Brutus Monroe asking if we could just push the class back a little bit. Um, there's a, surprisingly a lot of you that are not available when we were going to start this weekend, um, as well as a lot of you, uh, well, not a lot of you, about five of you still can't get the email. So what we're going to do is when I come live tomorrow, I will have a firm date. I believe it's probably going to start next Wednesday is the goal, but I will have a firm date. Um, I just want to make everyone happy. I know it's tough to do that, but um, I got a lot of folks that said, do not start the class this Saturday. Um, there's no way. And so that's why we've, we've held off a little bit on sending you guys the boxes. Our plan is to ship the boxes to you guys tomorrow. Um, but I just want to let you guys know that we had a lot of kickback uh, about starting it this Saturday because a lot of folks wouldn't be able to do it. So I will have a firm date for you tomorrow as well as uh, all of your goodies um, are set to ship out tomorrow. So just sit tight. Um, I promise you it's coming. I, I hope that it's worth the wait. Um, but I just want it to be perfect, and I want to make sure that everyone, uh, you know, that can be there can be in attendance. So I will let you guys all know. But I promise you uh, it's going to be a really, really great class. So basically what you do here is you take your um, – oh, hello, kids. You're going to take your spray, and you're just going to spritz it one time, just like that. Isn't that cool? Um, did you go out to all the – it did, Connie. So if you did not get it, please send an email to info at brutusmonroe.com. Info at brutusmonroe.com. Okay? So if you send it to info at brutusmonroe.com, we'll make sure to get it resent to you. Again, there are a few folks uh, that for some reason the email is not coming through. It's about 80% uh, about of you did get it, but... For whatever reason, uh, it's kicking it out. It's not letting uh, the email come through, and I don't know why. Okay, but we'll just say that I learned my lesson for next time. We're going to do something different. <laughs> I promise you. We're going to do something different next time. Okay, so next we have, oh, my goodness, my camera just moved. I don't know why. It's like the light is not as bright tonight, and I don't know why. So I'm going to have to figure out. Lighting. Does it is the lighting okay for you guys? 
There, there's yes, they're gonna they should ship tomorrow, Don. That's our plan. They should ship tomorrow. Can you guys see okay? I hope you can. It's a little bit light on my side, but that doesn't mean that you guys can see. It's okay. Okay, good. So next we have uh, first I did phone book, and phone book obviously is the color of uh, of the. I don't know why it's so dark. Let me see if my hold on. Rob was messing around with me. Was messing around with my lights earlier. So I don't know if he turned down the lights. Hold on. No, doesn't get any brighter. Hmm. I don't know what's going on. It's strange. It just seems darker. I don't know why, because it's so bright right now. It's so bright. Did you say it's blurry? It's not blurry on my. It's not blurry on my side. Is it blurry for anyone else? Hmm. I wonder what the deal is. Well, I'm just gonna have to get more lights then, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to figure out some lights. I'm gonna have to figure out the lights. Okay. So now I'm next going to take, well, let's do rouge because that's the next color down here. I'm going to have to figure out, I'm sure that there's probably some sort of setting um, that I can do with the, uh, with the camera to make it brighter. Um, it probably does, Marie. I just don't know yet. It might not. Um, well, actually, it's, I don't, it's, well, I can move this. It's, it's not the stand because it's, my camera's attached to the ceiling. It's actually attached to the ceiling. Maybe it's because it just needs more flooding of light. I don't know. Let's see this. Let's try this out. Does that make it a little bit better? Well, it seems brighter now. Hi, Karen. Yeah, it seems brighter now to me. Does it seem brighter to you? Okay. So now I'm going to take the rouge. Oh, yeah, it seems much brighter to me now. I think it's also because it's there's nothing there. Okay, so um, I'm now gonna spray the rouge. And again, all you're gonna do is just spray your little area there. Okay, so spray your little spray your little area there. So there's the rouge. And then you're gonna take your Oz, or is this Oz or is this cornflower? Oz, yep. And again, you just want to spray it. If you overspray, that's okay. It's not going to hurt anything, I promise you. It's not going to hurt anything. So then I'm going to come in with the corn flour. Always make sure to shaky, shaky, shaky. There's little balls inside of these so that they will shake well. Oh, I love that corn flour color. And then we have the wagon. Um, two, um, 250 for about 20 minutes. These are all brand new. So that's why it's taken a little bit for them to, to zhuzh up. Then we'll do sidewalk. Another one of my favorites because it's very light and very, very pretty. Oh, look how pretty that gray is. Oh my goodness. Love it. Every time. And now we have, oh. I put suede over here and I wasn't supposed to yet. Put suede over there and I wasn't supposed to yet. Okay, so here's the suede. Oh, look at how pretty that suede color is. And then next is Jurassic. And these colors are so, they're just so vibrant and so fun. There we go. It does. Okay, so here are all of our colors. Of course, these uh, need a little bit of time to dry, but you can see how vibrant and how pretty, and they just really do a phenomenal, phenomenal job um, of really saturating, like really, really saturating um, the paper. But of course, you can also mix these colors. So let me move this over to the side and just make sure that you grab um, the you know nothing about the surface sprays. Oh my goodness, Don! What are what am I gonna do? Um, so I'm gonna have to tell you. I'll watch your face. That's okay, Trudy. Okay, so 
So good, yes, the class, we're gonna talk all about surface sprays, but basically I'll show you on the Not Your Mama's cardstock. So you can mix colors, and I don't have my spraying vestibule here, so you'll have to forgive me. Um, the spraying vestibule you can get on the website. But let's start with, let's use some of the wagon. And I'm trying not to spray my computer. Let's use a little bit of the wagon. Let's use a little bit of the Oz. And let's use a little bit of the cornflower. And you'll notice something right away. They do not, um, nope, not doing the fairy box tonight. Do, I think I'm going to do it on Friday. But you can see how beautifully they saturate into the paper <clears throat> and they don't blend on the paper. Um, you know, when you first spray them, do you see how they layered on top of each other there? They're a very unique, very, very different type of a spray. So do you see how that red layered over top of the blue and the red layered over top of the odds there? They're very different. They're very unique. They're super, super cool. And you can do a lot of really cool stuff with them. What happens most uniquely with them is when you use them with the tags. That's okay, Tracy. Let me see. I don't know that I have any tags, but let me go take a look. Yes, no muddy mess. That's the best part because they're not like a dye base spray. Let me see, do I have any tags? Oh, I don't think I have any tags. I don't think I have any tags to show you, but if you go back to one of my previous videos, I um, show you how to use them with the, with the, the big daddy tags. Um, I don't believe that I have any tags here to show you. Hold on one second while I take a look. Yeah, no money mess, that's the best part. No money mess. Uh, let's see. Sorry, things are things are falling. Things are falling. Um, let me see here. I don't think that I have. Nope. I do not have any tags on my desk, but that's okay. Wait, let me see if there's any back here. Let me see if I have any tags back here. I don't believe that I do. As my as my little my little container is falling over. Um, nope, I don't look, it doesn't look like I have any tags, but I will show you guys. Um, we'll do another, oh, let me look in this bin. We'll do another, um, all of my video stuff has kind of been judged into multiple areas, but this is what they look like when they're sprayed together. I think I have a couple of examples. Oops, and I just put that piece of paper on top of my swatch guide. Dag nabbit. And this is what they look like as a rainbow. Yeah, you can really use them on everything. <laughs> There's not much you can't use them on. Oh, D, send an email to info at brutusandroad.com. I'm resending emails again tomorrow morning. And if you don't get it then, then I'm going to have to probably send a pigeon. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to send a pigeon. Oh, yay, look what I found. Yes. Okay. Now this is when it's going to get exciting. Uh, you'll be very excited, Karen, because in the fourth quarter of this year, you're going to get, you're going to get your wish. You're going to get your wish. Now, just so everybody knows, anyone that's joining in right now, the Surface Spray Bundle will no longer exist as of the last day of August. So September 1st, the, the bundle will be gone, okay? The bundle will be gone. And again, I don't have my spraying chamber here with me, um, but the spraying chamber you can get at brutusrow.com. It's, it's listed underneath of, um, underneath of the uh, uh, info tab there. Yep, we have eight new colors coming. Um, and you can guess it's actually a collection of our inks. So I'm just going to go on in here with, let's start with some Oz. Let's go into the phone book. Oh, that's okay, Mrs. Whitlock. Um, all we're doing is, uh, we do, there's a new swatch guide that you can grab. We were just swatching it out. The new Surface Spray swatch guide um, that you can grab at um, brutusrenode.com. It's actually linked below. So now I'm going to come in with a little bit of wagon. 
And you can use as much as you want. You can use as much, as little or as much as you want. Now I'm gonna grab my heat tool. And now you don't have to heat it up. That's a question I get a lot. Do I have to heat it up? You don't have to. You sure can. It works great on um, uh, UPO paper and um, glossy. It works great on that. So I'm gonna show you what's happening here. And this will again happen naturally. Even if you don't heat it, you don't have to heat it. But I want to show you what happens that's really cool on any type of glossy surface. Now, again, it's going to do different things on different surfaces. So I implore you to use your um, use all of your surfaces. Again, we're going to talk about surfaces. Uh, in the class, you're going to get some surfaces for the class so that you can try them out. But like I said, this is a very, very different medium. So if you are a mixed media buff like me, I love mixed media, but I like combining the art of mixed media and card making, which you don't really see a lot. You know what I mean? I don't really see a lot of it. Maybe I'm not looking in the right places, but I don't see a lot of mixed media and card making. It's kind of you have one or the other. It's not really... You don't really see a lot of both. It's usually one or the other. Okay. So now this is, um, this is all. Oh, oh yes, Kija. Send, um, send the email to Heather at BrutusRenault.com and she'll get it over to me. She'll be really excited to see it too. So this is what it looks like naturally, you guys. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? All I did was spray them. That's all I did. I didn't do anything else. I just sprayed them. How stunning. And it also, every time, every time, it looks a little bit different. It looks a little bit different. And just so you guys know, the other great thing, and I hope that you guys saw this yesterday. I'm not sure if you did. The surf, the, the, the new, um, doesn't it? It's kind of cool. But, it, you, but it, you, don't, you, you can spray it because you don't want to spray um, alcohol ink. So... The really cool thing is now with our new free shipping threshold, which I hope you guys have been able to take a look at, our new free shipping threshold is at um, $50. So it's no longer um, the $75 limit. If you spend $50, you get free shipping, which means that if you get the full surface spray bundle, which the full surface spray bundle is $54.99, you get them shipped for free. Isn't that great? I just think that's super cool. So now let's do some pinks, some pinks and some sidewalk because the sidewalk will really brighten it up a bit. I, I haven't used this so much for a while. I haven't done one mixed media. Well, you don't really have to do mixed media, Mrs. Whitlock. What I like about it is you can just spray and then you can die cut. That's something that I love to do. So I'll spray and get all my colors on here. And then what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll die cut from it. So if you have like really pretty backgrounds, you can go in and you can cut out your really pretty backgrounds from the surface spray. So it doesn't have to just be mixed media. You can do all sorts of different things. No, they are, they, they do dry glossy. They'll dry glossy on a glossy surface and they'll dry matte on a matte surface. They're very, very different from a dye based spray because they're not dye based. They're actually chalk based. You short can because they're permanent as soon as they're dry. So they're just like the surface spray, I mean the surface inks, they're gonna be permanent when they're dry. And actually, I don't know if Sandpaper Road is in here this evening, she, she hops in every once and again, but she did the most beautiful, beautiful mason jars um, that she actually uh, sprayed and then uh, put them in the oven. Oh my goodness, are they gorgeous. Oh, you paint with yours, Valeria? Yeah, I think, I mean, it's, they're very versatile. That's the cool thing. You can paint with them. You can spray with them. You can create beautiful backgrounds. But imagine this background for, like, Valentine's Day. Um, you know, it's just super, super pretty. I suggest, you know, giving them a quick heat set and then letting them dry completely on their own. They do have some workable time, meaning that you have some time to work with them. You don't have to... Um, you don't have to... Uh, you know, hurry up and do stuff. You know, you can, you have a little bit of time to play with them if you want to add water or do all sorts of different things with them. But I just think, um, 
Yes, absolutely. You are 100% correct. So let me actually show you that on this one. So let me heat up my, um, I'm going to heat up my laminator. So I'm going to show you that. I'm so glad you brought that up. I am so glad you brought that up, my friend. Oh, that's so cool, Heather. Yeah, there's so much you can do. So much you can do. Oh. Oh, Ileana. The real Ileana. <laughs> my, is, it, is that my girlfriend, Ileana? Or is that a different Ileana? Okay. So I'm going to... Oh, it's, it's my girlfriend, Ileana? Okay, good. It's my girlfriend, Ileana. <laughs> That I was just that that was just text messaging me. <laughs> is it not Ileana? Uh, okay. So um, there. Are, oh, perfect. Thank you, Kijo. Um, well, thank you for joining me, Ileana. I certainly appreciate you stopping by. Um, I'm I am sad that I'm not using this, <laughs> but I have a couple. I mean, I have a couple of them. Um, I have a couple of them on my desk, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> I'm not using them tonight, but I have a couple of them. I know. I can't wait to see your creativation either. I, this whole, like, only seeing each other two times a year is, is getting old. I don't like it. Okay. So let me um, wipe that off of my finger. And now my laminator is heating up. So let me grab, let's use everyone's favorite from my new foil line. Well, it seems to be everybody's favorite. I think that it's safe to say that... Um, it's everybody's favorite. So let me grab, uh, let's see here. Let me grab some Tide Pole, because this seems to be the crowd favorite. Let me grab some Tide Pole. Um, Heather, did you do, is that the card that you posted for the guest spot? Is that the card you posted for the guest spot? All right, so let me dag nab it. Hold on. Here we go again. Here we go again. I don't know why it's so hard for me to keep a um, to keep a piece of this on my desk. Okay, so let me. There we go. Okay. Yes, that's what I thought, Heather. All right, so I'm going to fold this in half, which is uh, the perfect size for our um, media tags. And then I'm going to come in with the foil. Uh, if I were a trimmer, where would I be? Here you are. Okay. Now that I got my... Um, now that the new studio is set up, I have no idea where anything is. Does that ever happen to you guys when you rearrange stuff? Now, I mean, I completely rearranged my life with the new house, the new store, the new warehouse, and all of that stuff. So, I mean, I I really went for it. But it's, you know, my, my, my issues are that things are everywhere because I'm still, you know, figuring out everything um, from moving. But it's only been, I mean, when did we move in? Like about a month ago? About a month ago. Okay, so you can see now the pieces do you see how it's glossy but some pieces are still a little bit damp and that's where the magic is going to happen okay just like um who said it someone uh said just like the um just like and then don't throw this away i mean how fun would that be if i were sure where would i be i say that every i say that every day um at work Lisa, um, who's our education coordinator, she laughs at me constantly because she's like, she knows what I'm going to say. She's like, oh, he's, he's going to, he's calling himself an inanimate object again. Nope, I never do anything small. Accurate. 100% accurate. <laughs> so let me move this over a little bit. And I'm going to place this. So I, well, let me move this back, actually. I'm going to place this in here. Oh, I got surface spray on my desk. That's okay. It adds a little bit to the feel. Then I'm going to place my Tide Pole foil on top of it, like so. And I'm going to fold it all together. 
And you can really see what the tide pool looks like now. Do you see that? How cool is that? Squeaky clean cleans it up. Squeaky clean. Squeaky clean will clean it. I mean, if it dries completely, mm, rubbing alcohol will probably be your best bet because um, it does dry completely permanently once it's dry. So it's just like the surface inks. If it dries completely, it's going to be permanent. But the squeaky clean will, will, will take it right up lickety split. Lickety split. But I wanted something that was similar to our surface inks, which, you know, obviously this is what our surface inks look like. Um, I wanted something similar to our surface inks, but um, before I get in trouble, I know. Before I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna, I'll yell at myself. Okay, hold on one second. I know. Hold on. Oh yeah, this made me nervous. Now she, I'm gonna be. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Hold on. Stop the presses. Yeah, when it dries, it's it's a little tricky to to get off because of the fact that it, again it is permanent. Oh, and it's almost completely dry already. So, oh. It's it's on there, but it'll come off with a little bit of rubbing alcohol later. Don't worry, this is fake wood, so I could just pull the <laughs> pull the sticker off and put a new one on. Okay, so let me go ahead and I can put this to the side now. All right, I'm gonna lift this off and show you. And you can see. Some of it seeped out. That's okay. Look at that. <laughs> Put some splatters on it for good. That's fantastic. So do you see the areas that weren't dry? The foil adhered to, and that foil really adhered to it, didn't it? My word. And I always wish that you could see what it looks like, but it's so hard to catch it in the light. But yeah, anywhere that it doesn't dry, the foil will stick to it, and it's just a really, really cool technique. Very similar, again, very similar to the, um, very similar to the way the alcohol inks work. Very cool. So if you do splats on the foil, it will stay. Yes. So if you would go in and let me grab my, let me grab my, my spray guard again. So if you were to go in and you were to, uh, let's say we'll use some blue on top. I'm having trouble trying the deco foil glaze goes under my stencil. Oh, you just have to be a little gentler, that's all. Just be a little gentler. So now if I go in and I just zhuzh a little bit of blue on here. And I'm trying not to zhuzh blue all over everything. Not doing a very good job of it. And again, just for a little extra mixed media. All right. So now let's go ahead and dry this again. Well, of course, we're not going to dry it all the way. Yeah, it kind of does look like a sunrise. And obviously, it's not going to dry completely while we're live, but you'll just have to take my word for it, or I'll show you it tomorrow when we're live. But you can see that it is on top of the foil now. Do you see the blue? Hopefully, you can see the blue really well with the light. But it's now on top of the foil. 
and it will stay put. <clears throat> it will stay put once it's completely dry. So again, that's just a really fun, different technique. Um, this is the one that we just did that is, you know, almost completely dry. But again, you could do the same thing with this one and you could put it through. Now, the beautiful thing also about the surface sprays is they will not dull. So they're going to stay this bright. They're going to stay this bright. Okay. Which is really, really cool. So we'll do one more. Let's do, um, let's do some blues and turquoises. We'll do one more. Okay, so we're going to start now this time with corn flour, and really it's completely up to you how much you spray. Eliana, I'll just um, I'll just slip them in with your order going out this week. Okay, so then you could come in, and what happens with the 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 sidewalk is it kind of becomes like a it almost becomes like a uh like a um i don't even know how to explain it it almost kind of gives it uh it kind of like moves it and shifts it a little bit oh yeah it's it's all in the all in how you use it it, it does a lot of really cool different stuff a lot of really cool different stuff now this one since i put quite a bit more on here <laughs> well, Rose, I don't know. Um, you can always call Heather. Um, no, these are the same surface sprays. I just am, I was debuting the um, I was debuting the uh, new swatch guide today. It will lift with alcohol, Liliana. It will lift with alcohol, but it will not lift with water. And I have not tried blending solution yet, but I'm assuming the blending solution or like, um, yeah, I think it's like the, the Copic blending solution I think would probably work. But right now, basically what I'm creating is an ocean floor, I guess you could say. Um, and I've created lots of like galaxies and ocean floors because again, as long as you have a glossy surface, or if you, um, I don't know, maybe Kara, I'm not familiar uh, with that, with that specific product, um, but I'm assuming so. Oh yeah, you just splat alcohol, absolutely. Well, you guys can't really get the full effect of this until I lift it up, but like I said, I like to give it a good drying. You don't have to spend as much time as I'm spending. Um, you could just set it to the side. What I normally do is I will take a whole bunch. Um, I take a whole bunch of, um, yeah, only alcohol will really make it lift. I make a whole bunch at one time and then I hang them up. Hello, Joy. So good to see you. Okay, so let me give you the full effect. So this is what it looks like. Tell me that's not an ocean floor if you've ever seen one or a wave, and you guys saw, there's no smoke and mirrors. I did nothing but spray this, right? Did you guys see that? I did nothing but spray this. That's all I did. They're actually chalk-based, Kijo. They're actually chalk-based. Right, Kijo? That's what I think makes them so special because they're chalk-based. Doesn't it need a mermaid, Ileana? So there you go. I mean, you get a different effect every time. Yes, that is why you get such great coverage. That's why you get such great coverage. And again, this was literally, um, we do not make the sprays in-house, no. The same folks that make our inks make the sprays. The same people that make our inks make the sprays. I'm not that advanced. <laughs> I wish I was, um, but I'm not... Uh, I'm not that advanced yet. We're right now. Uh, yes, Ileana, we actually have um, a we have a um, sterling, a penny, and a gilded that will be here in time for Christmas. They'll be here in time for Christmas. So there you go. Do you see 
how cool that is. And again, you can also do a rainbow. So let's do a rainbow real quick, okay? I told you it was the last one, but you guys know me by now. I get real excited, and I just want to keep making them. So let's do a rainbow, and I'll show you how easy that is. <clears throat> Yes, we will have a gold, a silver, and we actually, back in the day, back in the day, we used to have the gold, the silver, and the bronze, and that's how it all started. That's how it all started. And then I was like, I need colors, because everybody's looking for, um, everybody's been looking for, and I'm going to really saturate this one, because the colors um, that blend are going to create the like orange that we don't have. And this is one of my favorite techniques to do. One of my absolute favorite techniques to do. Anytime I go to any event, this is always the technique that I do. Okay. Oh my goodness, I have surface spray all over my laptop. No biggie. That's, you know. Wouldn't be my laptop if it didn't have spray all over it. Wouldn't be my laptop if it didn't have spray all over it, right? I'll clean that up later. No big deal. Okay, so now let's go ahead and hit this with heat gun. Again, like I said, you do not have to, uh, you do not have to hit this with surface sprays. If, I mean, with surface sprays. You do not need to hit this. Hello, Angel. You do not have to hit this with a heat gun if you don't want to. I'm grounded. I know. I really do probably need to be grounded after. You should see. We should see all the surface spray that's all over the place. That's why we have the spray trays. That, of course, you can. Uh, we have the spray trays uh, that you can get on the website. Because I'm very messy, so I want to make sure. Aubergine is a color that's coming. Uh, all the colors that are coming are actually the. Um, they are the fall and the summer colors are what's coming. Because we already did winter and spring. Oh, you have lots of time to move it with a brush. Lots of time. Hello, Diane. There is not a white yet, Kijo, but stay tuned is all I will say. It's so funny because all of the stuff that you guys ask for, I'm so excited when you ask for it because um, it's usually stuff that we're working on. <laughs> there is not a white yet. Not yet is all I will say. We, But we've been working on doing different colors and different things for quite some time. Ever since we launch, launched these at CHA, the question is is constantly, when's the new colors coming? When are we doing different colors? When are we doing different stuff? So, okay, so this one isn't obviously completely dry, but I'll show you how gorgeous the colors are. Do you see that? And again, this is from just simply spraying. All I did was spray. All I did was spray. Once dry, do they rub off like litter stock shed? No. Oh, no. They're completely permanent. It's almost like um, nothing is causing the spots. It's just the natural. Uh, when you do it on something that is a, um, a non-porous surface, so like a slick surface, the it's the compound that they're made out of that makes them bubble up like that. It will work on any type of a... Um, any type of a non-pore surface. So like whether it's gloss stock, and I'm going to clean up my space before Ileana, before I, I get grounded. I'm just using some squeaky clean. Oh my goodness. The squeaky clean smells so good. It smells so, so, so good. I want to spray the whole house. I want to spray the whole house. So you can see before it dries, squeaky clean takes it up like a drain. Squeaky clean takes it up like a drink. And now I'm cleaning off my laptop too. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. I'm cleaning off my laptop too. I can hear you. I can hear you sighing. I can hear you sighing through the through the computer screen. Okay. So yeah, so those are the, and now I'm gonna clean myself up. Those are the surface sprays. So, and I don't know if you know this, but squeaky clean is very safe to use on your hands. 
I spray it on my hands constantly. Constantly, constantly. So yeah, so that is Bath and Body Works has a rose water pen that I bought. Oh, it really does smell like it does. That's so funny that you say that because the other day, um, the other day I got the like it was like the Bath and Body Works like circular, I guess. Um, correct, Donna. Um, and it had like a scratch and sniff, and I was like, oh, this is you know this is probably a nice candle. It's it's you know called rose. Um, rose water, and I opened it up and smelled it, and I was like, that's a squeaky clean candle. Because our, um, I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, but our squeaky clean is, um, it's actually formulated uh, with rose oil. That's its active ingredient. So when you, if you haven't sniffed your squeaky clean yet, sniff the squeaky clean, <laughs> because it smells really, 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 really good. Really good. Mm -mm -mm. I know, right, Ileana? I was actually... Don't think for a second I wasn't thinking that as soon as I pulled off that scratch and sniff. <laughs> so, all right. So that's everything for tonight. Thank you guys all so much uh, for tuning in. Um, I'm going to, I'm actually going to do a little bit of foiling uh, with the um, darker foil sheets tonight because I have a project that I'm going to be uh, posting on YouTube very soon. Um, so I uh, am going to head off to work uh, with the toner sheets and with the foil. Does anybody have any questions about surface sprays while I'm still here? You've sniffed it? Good. Because <laughs> I, I smell it constantly. No questions? Okie dokie. Well, thank you all so very much for tuning in. I adore each and every one of you, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, make sure to do something creative today, tomorrow, uh, soon. Thanks, Ileana. Uh, and um, be good to one another, as I always say. And also, make sure to always create your own ending. I love you all to pieces, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Have a great night. Bye-bye.